Hello and welcome. This is Angie with thecountryshootcottage.net here today with another Cricut video. So this video is sponsored by Cricut. However, all projects and opinions are my own. Today we're going to talk about the rotary blade. So we're going to talk about what the rotary blade does and cut 10 different materials with the rotary blade. Now, the rotary blade itself will cut hundreds of materials, literally. And I've done quite a few over the years. If you want to scroll back on YouTube, head to thecountryshootcottage.net, search for Cricut Maker, and you'll find other fabrics and other materials I've cut with the rotary blade and the maker itself. So if you're interested in that, or if you find a fabric, you want to know if the rotary blade will cut it, leave a comment below, and I will try to get an answer for you, send you a link to where someone else has cut it, that type of thing. All right, talk a little bit about the rotary blade first. So this is the rotary blade, and it only works with the Cricut Maker. So this adaptive tool system, which is the top here, is only available on the Cricut Maker machine. And then you can see the rotary blade here. It's sort of like a rotary cutter that you would use for sewing, but in a smaller form. So it rolls as it cuts using your maker, and then this allows it to also turn in your machine for precise cutting and control. So now that you know what the rotary blade does, let's cut some fabric. So what you want to do, most of the time, the fabric and the rotary blade will work with the fabric mat. So it's your pink Cricut mat. And you take the fabric, literally no backing on it at all. That's the magic of the rotary blade. And you're just going to put it right on your fabric grip mat. And so I like to start at the top, put my fabric down, and then kind of smooth it from the top down with my hand. Now, a couple of tools that are great with the fabric mat and the rotary blade. First of all is this brayer. So you can use it to sort of press your material down, get out any bubbles. Second, the less you touch your fabric mat with your fingers, the longer it'll last. So the oils in your fingers will break down the adhesive of this pink mat. So, a set of tweezers. These are Cricut tweezers to pull the fabric back up. Once it's cut, you can pull the fabric back and not have to touch your mat. So that's a couple of different tools that might be useful. Now, let's cut 10 different materials in this video. So let's go. So over the course of the past year and a half, I've cut a ton of different materials with my maker and the rotary blade. But I thought I'd do 10 different materials today just to show you some of the cuts. So this is actually a nylon or um, spandex fabric so it has a ton of stretch it's something like you would make a swimsuit out of that type of thing so you can kind of see how stretchy it is and I had quite a few questions about the stretch of the material and whether that would affect the cut on the Cricut Maker and I can say 100% it does not affect the cut so here's a heart cut out of that stretchy material so I just used my fabric mat on this and just laid it on there and cut it no backing required so next up is velvet so this is actually a self adhesive velvet with a paper backing on the back so you use this for craft projects and here it is in a couple of sheets of black but you just use it for craft projects and peel the velvet off like to line a jewelry box or something like that but I thought this is so much fun for craft projects and what if you could cut it with your maker machine and get shapes and you can 100% so I just use like a regular mat for this and then the velvet setting and just cut a heart from this velvet piece so next up is faux fur. So faux fur, I had quite a few experiments with different types of fur. So I will say this, it needs to be a fur that is fairly flat. Now this was a fur and it came like in the craft section and it was just already cut to size. I never found a faux fur in the actual fabric section of my store that would work with the maker. They were all too thick. So it needs to be a fairly thin fur. But using the faux fur setting, I was able to cut the fur into the heart shape. And I will say this will probably ruin your mat. So it sheds quite a bit and quite a bit falls off of the edges, you know, on the cut edges and the edges that were just on here. And you can see it's like all over my work surface now that I've touched it. So I think it will probably ruin your mat. You may be able to save it. 
So what you do is take strong grip transfer tape and put it down on your mat and then peel it back off and hopefully be able to lift some of those fibers. You can also try it the opposite way. So you can take your mat, put strong grip uh, transfer tape down on it, face up, sticky side up, and then stick this to the transfer tape, cut it, then remove that transfer tape and hopefully all that fuzz with it. So that's a couple of tips to try to save your mat when cutting things like that. The next one is suede. So this is real suede. So I had to use a strong grip mat for this to get it to stick and it 100% ruined the mat. Like uh, this, the fibers on the suede just came out, came off all over my mat. And I will say the suede setting itself did not cut well. So I tried it once up here, didn't cut at all. Tried it once here with doing two passes and I still wasn't able to get the heart out. And then did it here and did five passes with the suede setting and was finally able to get a heart. But you can probably see there's quite a few fraying edges around here and I could just snip these off with scissors. But just so you're aware, there will be like some little frayed edges on suede if you're cutting suede with your maker. And you will need to do multiple passes to get it to cut. So just instead of, so when the maker is done, it will flash and once you to eject the mat, instead of doing that, just press the C again and it will do another pass over the same area. So that's just a note there. And next is just a plain t-shirt. So I just cut this piece out of a t-shirt, stuck it right to my fabric mat and used the setting for jersey fabric and cut out a heart. So this is a great way to upcycle. I've also done like jeans and things like that before. So it's a great way to upcycle like old clothing into craft projects. And next is a sequin fabric. So I was pretty excited to see this on the list of materials when I was cutting with my maker because um, you know the sequins are on the fabric and of course it would be a different thickness as you go along depending on if there's a sequin there or not. So I wondered how it would cut and it cut perfectly. No matter if there was a sequin on the cut line or not, it still cut it perfectly and I had great results with that. Again, just stuck it to my fabric mat and cut. So next up is tool. So I wanted to cut a variety of materials from like the really thick to the really thin. And of course tool is a super thin material. And here's my heart because it's so thin I lost my heart. So um, this tool fabric is like super super thin and delicate. Again just on my fabric mat and I actually on this one I had to put it on a regular grip mat. Um, something about the I guess the coating on the material it just really wouldn't stick to the fabric mat so just be aware of that. Um, but it cut perfectly just right on the tool setting and you probably can't see this heart very well because it's so thin and delicate but it did cut the tool perfectly. So next up what I wanted to cut was oil cloth and they actually didn't have oil cloth at my local Hobby Lobby. But this is a vinyl and it is like a felt backed vinyl um, kind of like a tablecloth. So similar to oil cloth, I think, so I think you would get the same results. And I just put it with the felt backing down onto just a regular standard grip mat and cut it on the oil cloth setting and it worked perfectly. So that I think oil cloth would work as well. And then I wanted to cut like a more, you know, I cut the delicate tool. I wanted to cut more of a heavy duty fabric. So this is a really heavy duty duck cloth. So yes, it will cut things like duck cloth and denim and those thicker fabrics. This is just on the duck cloth setting right to my fabric mat. And then I saw something interesting and I thought I would try it. So this is like a printable fabric and it comes in sheets. And I it actually comes in sheets that are backed with paper. So I think there's one more in here. Okay, so the sheet itself comes in the, the package and it has a paper backing and that makes it where it's able to run through your printer and then you can print it. So I actually did a print then cut on this material. So I did a print then cut with just a simple heart that has like a watercolor effect. So the Cricut printed that with the registration marks around the outside so it knows where to cut and then I actually peeled the paper off after I printed it, stuck it to my fabric mat and I actually cut this on the duck cloth setting because it's a fairly substantial 
piece of fabric. Um, there is a printable fabric setting on the Cricut, but for some reason it was asking me for my fine point blade and I really don't think that would have worked. So I used the duck cloth setting and the rotary blade and got a perfect cut so you can do print and cut with fabric as well. So that was awesome, right? So now you kind of see the power of the rotary blade from everything from a strong material like duck cloth to a really light and airy material like tool, it can cut the gamut. So what can the rotary blade cut? Like I said, hundreds of materials. Still have questions? Leave a comment below. Let me know what materials you want to see cut. I might cut them in a future video or I might already have a video and I can point you to it and you can see the actual cut that the rotary blade and the maker can make. So I hope this helps, explains a little about the rotary blade, a little about what it can do, and helps you decide whether you need the maker, which was what the rotary blade works with, or maybe an explorer works for you if you don't want to cut fabric. So thank y'all so much for joining me today. Be sure to give us a thumbs up on YouTube and comment below. Subscribe if you don't want to miss any of the Cricut Crafty fun. We would love to have you. So thank y'all so much for joining me and we'll be back next week.